Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice exponential problem, which is 4 to the power x minus 2. This is equal to 40. So what is the value of x? Now, solution from here. We have that 4 to the power x minus 2. This is in the form of a to the power n minus m, which we can express as a to the power n divided by a to the power m. Now, applying this exponent property, then we'll now, applying this exponent property, then here we'll have 4 to the power x divided by 4 to the power 2. This is equal to 40. And since 40 is our whole number, so it's over 1. So let's cross multiply here. So we'll have 4 to the power x times 1. This is equal to 40 times 4 squared. So here we have 4 to the power x. This is equal to 40 times 4 to the power Two. To solve for the value of x here, we introduce logarithm on both sides so that here we have rog 4 to power x. This is equal to rog 40 multiplied by 4 to power 2. The next step here, rog 4 to power x, this is in the form of rog 8 to power n, which we can express as n rog a. So applying this power rule property of logarithm, then rog 4 to power x becomes x rog 4. This is equal to rog 40 times 4 to power 2. So let's divide both signs by rog 4 by rog 4. So if you simplify here, we'll have x is equal to rog 40 times 4 squared divided by rog 4. The next step from here, we can express 40 basically as 8 multiplied by 5. Let's substitute this. So x is equal to rog 8 times 5 times 4 to power 2 then all this divided by rog 4 so you find that rog 8 times 5 times 4 to power 2 this is in the form of rog a times b now you find that rog 8 times 5 times 4 to power 2 this is in the form of rog a times b which we, we can express as rog a plus rog b so let's apply this logarithm property so that x will be equal to rog 8 divided by rog 4 plus rog 5 divided by rog 4. And then here we have rog 4 to power 2 divided by rog 4. So the next step from here. We can express rog 4 to power 2 here by applying the power rule property. That is rog 8 to power n. This can be expressed as n rog a. So let's apply this power rule property here. So that now we'll have x is equal to rog 8 divided by rog 4 plus rog 5 divided by rog 4. Then plus rog 4 to power 2, applying this property is the same thing as 2 rog 4 divided by rog 4. So rog 4 and rog 4 simplifies so that now here we'll have x is equal to 2 plus rog 8 divided by rog 4. Then plus rog 5 divided by rog 4. The next step from here, we can express 8 as 2 to the power 3, and we can express 4 as 2 to the power 2. Let's substitute this. So x will be equal to 2 plus rog 2 to the power 3 divided by rog 2 to the power 2, then plus 
rock 5 divided by rock 2 to the power 2. So the next step from here, we'll have x equal to 2 plus, now log 2 to the power 3. Let's apply this power root property, which is rock a to the power n. So we can express as n rock a. So that now log 2 to the power 3 becomes 3 rock 2 divided by 2 rock 2, then plus rock 5 divided by 2 rock 2. So let's simplify rock 2 and rock 2 here. So now we have x is equal to 2 plus 3 over 2, then plus half rock 5 divided by rock 2. Okay? So the next step from here, we'll have x is equal to 2 plus 3 over 2. This is the same thing as 7 over 2, then plus a half rock 5 divided by rock 2. Now, rock 5 divided by rock 2, this is in the form of rock A. This is in the form of rock A divided by rock B which we can express as rock A to base B. So let's apply this property so that now the value of x here will be equal to 7 over 2 plus half rock 5 to base 2. But since a half is common, we can express x as now we have that rock 5 divided by rock 2. This is in the form of rock A divided by rock B, which we can express as rock A to base B. So applying this property, then x can be expressed as 7 over 2 plus half rock 5 to base 2. The next step from here, since a half is common here, we can factor out a half so that the value of x will be equal to half into the bracket 7 plus rock 5 to base 2. So this is the value of x. So this is the value of x. So let's verify that this value of x actually satisfies the equation. Let's verify. Now, if you recall, we have that 4 to power x minus 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. Now, substituting the value of x here, we'll have 4 to power half into the parentheses 7 plus rock 5 to base 2. Subtract 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. Now, we can express we can express 4 as 2 to power 2. So you will have 2 to power 2 times half into the brackets here. We will have 7 plus log 5 to base 2. Then subtract. Now we have 2 times 2, so subtract 4. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. Now let's simplify here by 2 by 2 so that you will have 2 to power 7 plus rock 5 to base 2. Subtract 4. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. Now from what we have here, we have 2 to power 7, we have 7 minus 4, which is 3. If you see 7 minus 4 is the same thing as 3. So you have 2 to power 3 plus rock 5 to base 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. Let's check if this is true. Now 2 to power 3 plus rock 5 to base 2. 
This is in the form of a to the power n plus m, which we can express as a to the power n times a to the power m. Let's apply this exponent property so that now here we'll have 2 to the power 3 times 2 to the power of 5 to base 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. So 2 to the power 3 here, this is the same thing as 2 times 2 times 2, and this is essentially equal to 8. So we have 8 times 2 to the power of 5 to base 2. 2 to the power of 5 to base 2, this is in the form of m to the power of a to base m. This is equal to a. And that implies that 2 to the power of 5 to base 2, this is supposed to give us a value of 5. So 2 to the power of 5 to base 2 is the same thing as 5. So let's substitute 5 here. So it will be 8 times 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. So 8 times 5, this is 40, which is equal to 40. So that implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And that implies that the value of x, which is a half into the parentheses 7 plus rho 5 to base 2, actually satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, like this video so that you can be recommended to other viewers and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye.